speaker, guest speaker is really about sharing experiences, like I said. And the person we have here tonight can do that probably better than anybody else that I know, any professional athlete or college level coach or, or professional level coach. Mark Hafner is our featured speaker tonight. He is a professional coach. He is a very, very good friend of mine. He is pretty well known to a lot of people here at the JCC and in the Pittsburgh area. Some of what he's going to talk about is so important that, that these are messages that not only the kids can take home, parents and myself as well. Um, I'm very honored to have Mark here. He's very excited to be here. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to end it with that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's put our hands together for Mark Tapp. Thank you very much, Coach Alex. Players, once again, I want you to thank your parents. They take time out of their hectic and busy schedules to get you to and from practices and to the games. Being a parent, I know what it's like. Seven days a week, running a little one around, being the chauffeur. Please turn towards your families and thank them. One message I want to give to everybody here this evening. When you start something, I want you to finish it. Do not quit in the middle. If you don't like something, that's okay. But as long as you finish something that you start, you're all going to be winners in my book and all the other coaches' books as well. T E A M. Anybody know what that spells? What's the T? Teamwork. The E is enthusiasm. The A is attitude. And the M is making it through as a team. Anywhere in there, did anybody hear me say I? No. There is no I in team. There is no I, though. On a team, we learn to share. You play basketball, there's five players out on the court with you, and there's one ball. I coach hockey, there's six players out there. One puck. Football, the Steelers won the Super Bowl. Eleven players, one football. They win as a team. They share. Being a younger brother, I used to follow my brother around, and I wanted to play with his friends. They got me involved. They got me involved by sharing with me. So you have to share. Does everybody understand what it is to share? Yeah. What does it mean? It's okay. Yes? Passing the ball. Each other chances. Excellent. It's okay. Never be afraid to give an answer. Every answer is a good answer. But it, yes, sir. Being friendly, working together as a team. That is correct. The Steelers came together as a team. Coach Tomlin. Got them to the Super Bowl. The team that beat the Penguins last year, the Detroit Red Wings, they've won four Stanley Cups in 11 years. That's a team. Anybody here ever hear of Michael Jordan? Yeah. Getting back to what I was talking about in the beginning, about not quitting, did you know that he got cut from his high school basketball team? Anybody know that? Yeah. Did he quit? Went on to be the greatest player of all time. James Harrison, everybody ever hear of him? Yeah. You know how many times he got cut? One? No. Two? No. Three times. Did he quit? No. NFL Defensive Player of the Year, two-time Super Bowl champion. 
Pretty impressive. Anybody ever hear of Joe Bunda? No. You know why? He quit. <laughs> What's the most important thing that you need to learn when you play? Being a gracious winner and a gracious loser. In 1976, I was playing Little League. I was one game away from the World Series. My team was one game away from the World Series. We played the Lions. It was late in the game. My team was down. I left. My parents who are sitting out here tonight dragged me back, put me on that bench, and when the game was over, I looked the other guys in the uh, Lions team in the eye and said, great game. Did I mean it? Nah, I don't know. But I remember that. Let's move five years later, 1981, I was playing for All Rice High School in the WPIHL Championship against Westmont Hilltops. We won at Mellon Arena 6-0. When the game was over and we were going down the line and looking in the players' eyes from Westmont Hilltop, I remember back in 1976 when we lost in baseball and I could feel the pain and I was a gracious winner that night. So remember that. Never, ever, ever be a bad winner or a poor loser because you're not always going to win and you're not always going to lose. Does that make sense? Yeah. I'm, I'm not done. When you are on a team, it is an honor and a privilege. When you play with a team, you've got to give your all. You have to give your best, and if you lose, when you're done with that game, if you gave 110%, you can look yourself in the mirror and know that you did the best job. You owe that to yourself, and you owe that to your teammates. Can anybody say that on every Saturday that they went out there and gave their all? Every week? Just remember those words. If you're willing to give 110%, that's all the coaches can ask of you. You have to have fun when you play the game too. Because when it's all said and done, that's why we're here. We are here to have fun. Did everybody have fun playing in the Harry B. Davis Basketball League? Yes. That's good. Telephone. <laughs> what I want to leave everybody here with tonight is remembering. Follow your dreams. Never give up and finish when you start. Thank you very much. One more time, a huge round of applause for Mark Hatton.